Shepherd family and friends. My name is Becky Brunsma, and as a member of the Fellowship and Evangelism Committee, I am inviting you to try something new this year that we're going to start uh, next Wednesday on the 27th. Um, it's called the GSC Craft and Cooking Class. And I will be the first presenter. And I want to show you kind of a unique craft thing that um, I was introduced to a long time ago. And it's really enjoyable for any age. And it allows you to be creative in many ways. So I'm gonna show you some of the um, items that you would need to be able to do this. You don't have to go out and buy them right now. If you just wanna watch and see if this is something that you wanna do later, that's fine. But I wanna show you, this is, uh, what's called Mod Podge. It's a type of glue that's thin and that you can use to um, apply your uh, different things to your, uh, your templates. And so that's the next thing I'm going to show you. This is a witch's hat that's made of paper mache. And this is a pumpkin that's also made of paper mache. You can buy those at uh, Target and some of the hobby shops. You could also use things like styrofoam. This is a styrofoam uh, snowman that you could use. The other thing you can use if you're thinking about Easter are Easter eggs. Now this one is already done, but this is just one of those plastic Easter eggs that you put candy in. That will work just fine. And uh, one of the other things that you can use, uh, you if you like ceramics, you'd like to do something ceramic, this is also another possibility. So, the other thing that you would need is some kind of either napkin. Um, it can be just plain, or you can have any kind of design on it, depending on what your um, your uh, season is. Or you can use plain tissue paper. And the other thing you will need is um, some kind of a sponge or paintbrush to use to put the glue on. And. I think that's it. So let me just show you some of the finished product. So this is a witch's hat that I made for Halloween and I've embellished it with some other things as well. This is a snowman that I just recently made. And um, the other wonderful thing about Mod Podge is that you can paint over it as well once it's dry. So you can also make things plain if you want to. So I would really like to share with you all the neat tricks um, that I've learned over the years in doing this with some of my friends. And I hope you'll join me and it's good for everybody in the family and it's really a lot of fun. So hopefully you can join us next Wednesday, the 27th. See you then.